At first, it was just headaches, tiredness, stuff you get from being stressed out. In March, Jalen Kozad ended up in the hospital for COVID-19. Literally, I felt out of breath just texting, sitting there. Kosat didn't feel much better until the end of June. That's when Hayes County followed up and Kosat told them the case could be considered recovered. But not all counties follow up with patients. In June, Austin Public Health started automatically marking patients recovered after 14 days or about 32 days if they're hospitalized. The difference is reflected on the county's dashboards. APH says following up with patients directly takes too much time and causes a lag in data. Hayes County says the payoff is confidence that the residents marked as recovered are, in fact, symptom free. We're still gathering a lot of data since this is a new infection. Dr. Elizabeth Douglas with Dell Medical School says new information indicates more people are showing COVID-19 symptoms symptoms past the two week timeline in the outpatient system where you've got milder illnesses. There is still a significant percentage of patients that are reporting symptoms beyond 14 days in the range of 30 to 40 percent. COSAT says even when a COVID case is considered cleared, people should know there could still be a lasting impact. There are a lot of people out here now with heart issues, breathing issues, all kinds of different odd symptoms popping up. And um, it, it's not just about uh, death and recovery rates. You know, there's a lot more to it. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News.